Blissfully unaware of the role they're playing in potentially changing the way dairy farms operate, cattle on Waipuri Station have been fixed with special collars to stop them wandering into areas they shouldn't. It's fitted with a GPS that helps train them to, to stay away from sensitive environments that we choose based on a select criteria. Those sensitive environments include hundreds of kilometres of waterways. State-owned Enterprise Land Corp owns two farms in the area, both of which have land bordering Lake Mahinarangi. Instead of having to fence the vast areas, they've teamed up with Ag Research to run a two-month trial to test virtual fencing technology. This is a, is a new innovation that's come along as an alternative to traditional fencing of waterways, which takes a, a lot of infrastructure. Uh, a lot of time and a lot of r &M in the future. When the animals move near the forbidden zones, the collar gives off a buzzing noise which grows gradually louder. If that doesn't work, the animal receives a single electric pulse to the back of its neck. We're looking to keep exclude cattle from waterways is the, the goal behind it uh, and sensitive environments. And on top of that, we also want to protect our animals' welfare and, and monitor them. It's the first virtual fencing trial in a commercial beef herd in New Zealand. If successful, it could provide a cheaper alternative to traditional physical boundaries in Waipuri, the South today.